Yo, what's good? How's it going? Yeah, I got a, I got a new chair. Wow, it's a lot nicer. It's got a headrest. And today is a very special video because we're gonna be talking about one of my proudest modifications that I've ever done. Let's get right into it. First off, I'm trying to, it's on my bed, so I don't want you to see it. Yep. Oh, I already put the, where did I put the, oh. So when I modify a stripe, I usually hook it up to a Graphene 0.952S LiPo. This. This thing, which is currently on my bed, behind me, runs on a 2.2 3s lipo, just a little, a little lar a little larger, you know, slightly bigger. Oh, YouTube sent me some friggin' sunglasses. Yeah, totally. Check that out. Official. Yeah, just kidding. I made these with some white electrical tape and two different colors of sharpie. You too can have your very own. YouTube sunglasses. Hell yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, time to reveal the beast here. I'm actually gonna back up so I can grab it and show it off in all of its very, in all of its glory, you know. And I'll grab the darts. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do a firing demo. What do I look like? Some sort of amateur? Don't answer that. I am. So this is Gladius, my baby. This is one of my proudest modifications, even though it doesn't work all that well, I can fix it. This, the base blaster is a stampede, uh, which, if you don't know, this is an electric springer. It's not a flywheel blaster, no, no, no. You can see, see the little clear part? That's a return spring. When you see the thing that returns spring around, that, the thing that, the, I cannot talk today. The thing that returns spring is around is the plunger. That's right. This is a Springer Blaster. But where do you prime it? You don't. It primes itself for you. This is a pretty old blaster. It was originally yellow, so, you know, real old. But I painted it blue to make it look all nice and fresh. Painted the Nerf logo, you know, both sides. Uh, I only painted the Stampede logo, huh? uh, the Stampede, the name right here, because... I didn't do that well on it, and I didn't want to mess it up on the other side. I also did the nerf on the rough cut. That's probably the roughest, uh, ha, 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 funny, funny, roughest paint job I've done. I also masked off the actual name of the rough cut. Oh, yeah, also, integrated rough cut in the front. This is a fully functional rough cut on the front of the blaster, just like that, and then it's... Fully, it's fully functional. I did have to cut it down a bit because obviously it doesn't work with some magazines because the clearance is a little a little tight, you know. Uh, I also, it originally had this little control here, this little thing, to turn it on and off. But that's boring. That's stupid. I don't want that. So I, so because now, because so now the tw the which the switch is hooked up to the main trigger, so when you pull the trigger, it fires. There's no battery in it, so it's not going to work, obviously. But you can hear it. That's the sound of the switch. But what I did was I stuck it in the closed position, so it's permanently stuck in the off position to freak people out a little bit. I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look like a stock Nerf blaster. So, I know, also, they're not going to be close enough to see that, but it's just a little gag that I put in there. Also... And I've never seen this before. I did this completely on my own. Uh, the, not the whole blaster, but what I'm talking about. The Strife Extended Mag Release. Yeah, so... Because these are the regular Mag Release. This is the original Mag Release pieces. I didn't want any holes in it, so I put them back in. But I, I hooked it up to this Strife Magazine Release. So now you can release a magazine. So if we put a magazine in here... Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit forward. You just put the magazine in, 
and then you want to take it's it's a little hard with the six since it's so small, but you take it out all nice and easy. And what I did was I just hit it with my pinky, and then I just pulled it out. That's what you do with the six rounders with the bigger ones. You can just kind of grip it and then hit the mag release and then take it out. But if you don't like that, and I'm lending this to you for some reason, this is my baby. I'm not gonna lend it to you. You can still use the actual original mag release. Only on this side, because this side I had to hot glue it in since uh, the strife mag the strife release was there now and not the original mag release. So I couldn't put it on this side. It's got two side rails, which I uh, I didn't paint. It's got two top rails. It had a bottom rail, but now there's a rough cut there, so no bottom rail. And as you can see, I went through quite the trouble of attaching it. Actually, this side's the better looking side. So what this is, is some hardware. Uh, if we look, there's a screw, the end of a screw sticking out. So it's a little bit of hardware, a little bit of a rector set. You know, just there's, so there's also a hole drilled into the top rail of the rough cut. You can see it's kind of poking out right here. Not the screw hole, but the top rail. So that's there. And then the other screw is just poking out that. But the epoxy putty, which is what I use to make it all nice and smooth, uh, covers that screw hole, or that screw. So, you know, it's not removable, but who cares? It looks sick. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's, let's see it fire. So, first, what you're gonna have to do is grab yourself a screwdriver. And it originally was on 6D battery. You can see my really bad paint job where I painted the name right here. It originally runs on 6D batteries, which is why the back is so friggin' large. But now it runs on just this little thing, which makes it a lot lighter. But also makes it get, there's also a ton of space in here. So, you know, I kinda gotta brace it between your legs to get enough, like, space to, oh Jesus, something's moving. And there's also super glue on the inside of the rough cut integration, just to ensure that it stays there. This, these were on super lightly because I, uh, it's a quick tighten to put it on the wall. Plug the 3S into the, the wire, and the wire is long enough to come out the end. Just drop it in there, make sure everything's sitting all nice and flush. Just take the battery door, and the battery case was originally attached to this, but you can unscrew it and then just take it out, so you know, might as well do that. Captain Xavier also did this to a stampede, not exactly what I did. He kept it running on trust fires and IMRs, which are extremely untrustworthy. I would never use them. But he ran it on those, and instead of an underslung rough cut, it's, a run it's an underslung titan, which is a little bit cooler, but it had a rough cut. I figured might as well. So you can hear the battery kind of rattling around in there. So if we just take the magazine, which is just a six round magazine full of regular six round darts, and then we put the darts in the rough cut. The main point of the rough cut is to have just like an emergency shot if you're like reloading a magazine, or if you need to shoot two darts at once, because that's what the rough cut can do. That's the main perk of having underslung rough cut is that it can shoot two darts at once. Put my dart in there like that. And then all you have to do is pull the trigger to make it work. So make sure we can actually see that. It's very fun. So now yep, six rounder is empty. And then you take the rough cut. So yeah, I hope you can see that. The sun is kind of shining, so it might be a little tough. But yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun that I wish it shot harder than it did. It's running on a 6 kilogram retaliator spring, which is much nicer than the stock spring. Although I do wish that it hit more than 50 FPS, which is really low. <laughs> like if you modify a Strife, keep it at mostly stock, just put a new battery in it and new switch and all that it hit about 100.
So, it's not really a hard hitter. It could be. I'm thinking about purchasing a 9 kilogram spring for it, which would make it work a lot better. It's also got uh, the Metal Gear set from Out of Darts. I think it's from Out of Darts. It's definitely on the website, though. So, I got all these things from Out of Darts, except for the spring. I bought that on Walmart's website. It took, like, a month to get here. So, don't order from Walmart. Walmart. Don't order from Walmart's website if it's not something that they have in store. It's going to take like a month to get there. Um, so yeah, Metal Gear set. Uh, basically, the only stock thing in here, apart from like most of it, <laughs> is the um, motor. Like electronically, the only stock thing is the motor. I replaced literally everything else. Took out... All the electronical and mechanical locks, well, not all of them, I kept one or two just in case, because the bad thing about locks is that uh, they increase the uh, chance of breaking your blaster. So, I mean, I don't know. I also drilled out the air restrictor. I might brass it just to make it a little bit harder, because brass barreling your blaster is good. It increases your FPS, because normally, in the um in the plunger tube or in the little plunger thingy plunger rod where the dart sits there's one little thingy in there there's one little ring i talked about it or no i didn't i did but that video is too long and i couldn't upload it uh there's one little lip one little rib kind of around the inside of the plunger rod that holds the dart in that seals the dart so if you just drill that out and then put a bit of brass in there that creates a really good seal around the entire dart, so it allows the air to push it a bit faster and a bit farther. So yeah, I might brass it. It's it's a bit of, it's a lot of work, so I might not. I'm definitely gonna put a nine kilogram spring in it because I want it to hit more than fifty FPS. Uh, so, uh cosmetic stuff. I didn't do a lot in the world of cosmetics. It did take me like an hour to mask. Because the only paint I used was blue. So I like the gunmetal gray. That's all masking. That's... You can see I did a pretty bad job of it. You can see all the places where the yellow's bleeding through. And if you can't, I'll point out all the major places. Like, right there. Uh, same on the other side. Uh, right in here. Right there. Uh, this whole section. Where the, well, obviously the inside. But like that whole section between the rough cut and the stampede i was originally because this is our old stampede like i bought this ages ago uh from goodwill and i was gonna integrate a magnus so i made some really bad cuts because i was like 12 and i thought it'd be really i thought i could mod i could not and uh yeah so I made some really bad cuts, so what I basically did was just I came in now, or like a year ago, <laughs> there we go, and I just cleaned up the cuts a little bit, uh, made a few ex made a few more cuts just along, did the whole thing with uh, 16 gauge wire, which is my preferred use, my preferred wire size, a lot of people use 18 because it's like the same size as like the stock nerf wiring so you can fit it in a lot of the different little cavities but 16 allows for more uh, like power travel so you know i use 16 and it's not just because we bought the wrong size wiring at home depot and we haven't run out of it yet no I would open it up, but there's like a million screws in this thing that take too long, and I can't upload videos that are over like 17 minutes because uh, they take too long. Oh, yeah, cosmetic stuff, other cosmetic stuff. Sorry, the chair, just, the chair just rolled around. You can see here, there's a hole in the barrel. Yeah, I did that. Not the hole, not the, like the hole itself, but like, because the hole originally didn't go all the way through. It would stop at the actual barrel, so I just cut a hole in the barrel, and now it feeds all the way through and that looks sick so yeah my my baby again big view big big view of it right there sick and 
since the video is only like 15 minutes long at the moment, I'll give you a little sneak peek of this unfinished project. I and mean, this may look like a stripe shell, you know, because I have like five stripes. But, oh yeah, making a cross bolt integration for my stripe. So I can put a magazine back here. And then I need to, it's not screwed together right now. When I need to use it, I can take it out and put it in the main magazine. So yeah, that's current project. I'll probably not going to keep you posted. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want your YouTube sunglasses, make them yourself. Too bad. Uh, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.